Kentucky nurses at Tufts Medical Center held a prayer vigil just hours before the hospital is set to end a four-day lockout. The hospital is also raising allegations that union supporters went after replacement nurses. WBZ Shantae Lands is live at the hospital tonight. Shantae. And Katie, as the picketing continues, the union tells us that they do not condone violence. In fact, they held a prayer vigil outside of this hospital just a few hours ago. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Tess. Nurses and supporters embrace during a prayer service outside of Tufts Medical Center, a way to keep hoping on day five of picketing and day four of the nurses' lockout. I just feel like... It was God's way of saying that you're, you're, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right through this. Early Sunday morning, there was an alleged attack by strike supporters on the buses carrying some of the nearly 300 replacement nurses to care for patients. Hospital spokeswoman Brooke Hines says groups of people went to two undisclosed hotels where the nurses are staying, yelling and even throwing coffee at a bus driver. They were harassing the nurses and uh, getting in the way of the buses. Okay. And then when they came on campus also, there were protesters waiting here and banging on the sides of the bus and yelling um, profanities and things. So we were, we were very discouraged by that. Massachusetts Nurses Association, the union representing the picketing nurses, says its officials were not aware of the incident until the organization was contacted by the media. I don't know one nurse that would ever attack another individual or another nurse. That's not what we're about. We were unaware of the incident, so I really I can't comment on something that I don't know the details about. And a word on when that contract agreement will be reached, but come 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, 1,200 nurses will be walking back inside the hospital and be able to get back to work. For now, live outside of Tufts Medical Center in Boston, Shantae Lands, WBZ News.